Today is Friday, November 3rd, 2023. I am now back in Sydney after a long three-hour drive from Janolan where I stayed in an old hotel that was close to the caves. The Janolan caves were amazing and I highly recommend visiting this place if you're ever here in Australia. The oldest part was over 340 million years old and some areas inside were five stories high. It is hard for me to describe in words what I saw, there were tall towering stalagmites inside. It was well worth the three-hour drive, it was incredible. I got up very early in the morning and decided to look around a bit. The floor squeaks. The hotel is 150 years old. It is dark inside, and I think I am the only one here. It is as if everybody disappeared and left all the lights on. Creepy is the word I would use. But I have to add that Royal Hotel in Oberon is surprisingly good, the only downside is having to wait a few minutes for the hot water. This is actually the first time I've seen a wombat and it had to be dead. Just like the first kangaroo I saw about 20 years ago when I first came here. Yep, dead too. Janolan Caves the caves are estimated to be 340 million years old, making them the world's oldest discovered open caves. There are over 300 entrances and 40 kilometers of tunnels inside. Inside are underground rivers, natural archways, and massive calcite formations as tall as a three-story building. That one. Well, this is the roll. Or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Chifley Cave. This ancient cave is a treasure trove featuring huge caverns, narrow passages, and offers a wealth of history, fossils, and calcite crystal in every form. In 1880, it began using electric light bulbs for illumination, making it one of the world's first places to use that new technology. My supermodel like. Just uh, once again, bear in mind, it might be a little. Yeah. And you might be able to see it, but there's actually pretty fair. Yeah. Orient Cave. Like the other caves around here, there are different kinds of crystals and colorful rock formations here. This one has the Pillar of Hercules, which is the tallest stalagmite of all the caves in Janolan at a height of 35 feet. It was named Orient Cave because the faraway lands of the Orientals were perceived to be exotic, just like this cave. Now I am back in Sydney. Tomorrow, I will visit the Roselle Collector's Markets where antiques and other collectibles are sold. Then it is a drive to the historic Maitland Jail that housed the convicts sent in from Britain in the 1800s. I will be checking out an Australian Costco as well. This video is the third of my 9-day Australian vacation. I will be uploading videos daily, feel free to subscribe for updates.